We're headed out to go skydiving. I'm not going. They're going. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we're headed. About an hour and a half to drive here. I'm not going to talk that whole time. They can talk. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. Anyway, yeah, it's Vaughn's birthday. Yee, happy birthday, Vaughn. Dutch Bros. Oh, yeah, he's never had Dutch Bros because they don't have it where he's at. It's really good. He got, um, what was it called? Mar it's something with grapefruit. Yeah, it was grapefruit and orange. It's like a like blended a red drizzle. rebel. Yeah, a kiwi drizzle. And then I just got a strawberry smoothie with no whip. And yeah, we are on our way to go skydiving. So, uh, it was miserable waking up at six o'clock in the morning, but we're here, we're live, and we're going. So I will check in with you guys later. So you're here to skydive. Skydive. Jump out of a plane. Yeah, nice. I'm pretty excited. Nice. Me too. And you, you ha have either of you done? You have not done it before. Amanda, no. Yeah, this is her. This is. Oh, so it's all. It's all your fault. <laughs> Hello. My fault. I bought the ticket for her. Uh oh. <laughs> and are you gonna go? Oh, um, I'm not gonna skydive now. Oh, okay. But you're gonna. You're here to support though. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Okay. I want to watch him jump. <laughs> we, we will have that happen then. I'm excited. All right, Amanda. I'm David. I'm going to be your videographer. Okay. How are we feeling? Great. Great. A little nervous, yep. maybe. A little, but a little. more excited than nervous. I don't think he's ever taken a unicorn skydiving before, so. Pretty for everything. Pretty yep. for everything. Yeah. What do you think your favorite part's gonna be? Just a free fall. Just a free fall. Mm -hmm. I love flying, just like in planes. Okay. So I'm gonna absolutely love it. I know it. All I'm right. gonna get addicted. I can already tell. We'll find out. You know, the only <laughs> thing we guarantee here is that you're gonna hit the ground. Hopefully softer than harder. <laughs> well, no guarantees on that. I was just getting the back of his harness. It says danger and things don't always go right. <laughs> You're still, it's going to go perfect and wonderful and beautiful. And... I have a strong motivation to make this go right. Yeah. <laughs> Better, that's my baby. Here we go. All right, now that we got rid of everybody else. Okay. Is there anything you need to say to the camera? Do you have a dog you got to say goodbye to? Or uh, come on over to this side of Brian here. Yeah, if I die, I love you. <laughs> so let's do this. All That's right. pretty much all I have to say. Let's do it. Here they come. Now, I want to do tandems out of the helicopter, but they're not going to let us. See, I saw a helicopter when I was driving up, and I was like, oh my gosh, I can cross off two bucket lists. <laughs> yeah. I'm all excited. I'm like, oh, okay. Whatever. No, nope, not quite enough room to fit us all in there.
All right, here comes the unicorn. Make it alive. <laughs> Alright, come on up here. Alright. Alright, uh -huh. what was your favorite part? Let's turn this way into the sun. I honestly liked the just gliding, like with the parachute. Yeah. Or, you like flying? Jump. Yeah. Okay. I love flying so much, so that was like really cool experience. Well, congratulations. Let's give Brian a high five and a hug. He saved your life. That's awesome. Yeah. Get some pictures here. Yes. Okay, so we just jumped, and we're alive, and our instructors were super, super nice, super sweet, super awesome. We love them. They were a kick. Um, so yeah, so what was your favorite part of everything? Uh, after the parachute, when we were uh, just like falling. That was my favorite part. See, my problem was when I was jumping, I was struggling to breathe, and that was kind of like my concern going into it. Like. I was nervous because you know how when you stick your head out the window going down the highway or something, it's like, like you can't really breathe. That's kind of what it felt like, except like times five because it's like faster. Can I the Ridsville exit? I, I, think, like, I, I think so, yeah. Smooth. Is what? When we landed, it was super smooth. Like it was so smooth. Yeah, they fit a lot of people. We were all sitting on each other's laps in there and they strapped us like super, super tight together. Um, I'll do a, like a full like experience explanation later. Right now we're just trying to get some lunch because we are starving after that adrenaline if, rush. If you can ever go skydiving, do, do it. it. It's life changing. It is. He got off. He got down and he's just like, I feel like my whole life has yeah. changed. I was like, this has made me an extrovert. <laughs> yeah, like you can, you feel like you can do anything once you've done something like that. Like it was so freeing. But you guys, that 60 seconds literally felt like five seconds. Like that free fall, it went so fast. It was insane. But the, the parachute, after they pull the parachute, that is the best because it's just like, you're just gliding. I've never been hang gliding or anything like that. So this was so new to me, but I love flying. It's one of the most, uh, it's my favorite thing in the whole entire world and just being able to just like float down was just really really cool six minutes felt like two minutes it did it literally went by so fast it was insane so anyway we're gonna go eat lunch because we are hungry hungry hippos and i will check back in with you guys later any other last words i would go again <laughs> yeah hey, one birthday. of the girls that jumped right when you did mm -hmm. she was signing up to go again right now again yeah yeah she loved it so much they were they were so sweet there it was awesome all right <laughs> we're going to lunch bye here okay we are getting lunch and look at this beautiful toast i got turkey noodle soup and a side of toast Vaughn bon got a french dip with fries and mom just got some breakfast over there mm, that looks delicious hey guys it's manda from the future um, I realized that I never finished off the vlog. Uh, we just got back from taking Vaughn to the airport, but you guys will see, like, the next vlogs, um, getting our tattoos and stuff like that. But I wanted to finish off this, uh, kind of, the skydive vlog by basically kind of sharing my experience and overall thoughts about it and all of that stuff. So, um... 10 out of 10 would do again. Definitely 100%. I don't know if I'd be confident enough to go solo, um, but as far as my tandem experience, it was absolutely amazing. We went to Skydive West Plains in Ritzville, Washington, and the staff there, the people there, the instructors, everybody was just so, 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 so positive and upbeat and helpful and just like it was a really welcoming atmosphere and very inviting and just all the people that were there were just so awesome everybody pumped each other up before they went on their dives and it was just really really cool um so basically how the process went i kind of wanted to just share with you guys the process let's see if i can set my camera down so i can just talk to you we got there we checked in and we basically just waited around a little bit 
I had assumed that we were going to go into like this classroom area with a bunch of other jumpers and there was going to be an instructor there and basically put us through a class and tell us like the do's and don'ts and do demonstrations and everything and all of that. But that was not what happened at all. Um, when we walked in there, it was basically just a giant room where everybody was putting all their parachutes back in their bags and just folding everything back up and prepping and getting ready for jumps and all of that stuff. It was like Vaughn described it as we walked into a scene from a movie where everyone was getting ready for like the end of the world, the, like the apocalypse or something. Like everyone was getting prepped and ready to go to war, you know? It was like so crazy just like walking in there because it is completely opposite from what I expected it to be. But for the fact that it looked the way it did, it did not take away from any of the professionalism or anything like that. Basically, we were each assigned an instructor that we were going to be strapped to during the jump. That's why it's a tandem. You're strapped to somebody harnessed together so that you don't just jump by yourself and just jump into oblivion and don't know anything that you're doing. They do offer first time jump solo courses, but I don't know the reason why I would do that. You know, I, I didn't mind being strapped to somebody. I actually preferred it because it was safer and everything. And they just came up to us in this big old room with everybody hustle and bustle all around us. And they basically just walked us through the process of um, going up in the plane, jumping out of the plane, uh, pulling the parachute, and then gliding through the air and then the landing. They basically just walked us through real quick the do's and don'ts. Literally the lecture or the walkthrough lasted like five minutes or so. And then they kind of had us like mimic what we would do kind of like squatting down or like on our tummies and just stuff like that kind of like on the ground so that we could get a feel of what it would feel like when we were in the air and all of that. So we had kind of a feel for it before we went up in the plane. Then basically when we went up in the plane, they piled everybody in. They have like two benches and how it works is you'll kind of see in the photos, but people will straddle the bench and then it will be one person sitting in front of the next person in front of the next person in front of the next person and we are all just like straddled huddled up next to each other like back to front pretty much and it was like a little crammed especially when we harnessed up tighter to our instructors it got like super secure and super close and super tight and then there were also a few random people like who were solo jumping and like my photographer he was towards the front of the plane in the open area that you can kind of see in the photos and they were kind of just sat down on the floor of the plane um we were kind of belted into the plane through our straps not necessarily like across our bodies like normal seat belts so they described that the flight itself once we got off of the ground and kind of up to elevation or altitude and then um kind of wrapped around so that we could all jump it was about a 20 minute flight it did not seem like 20 minutes it actually felt more like 10 minutes or so 10 15 minutes about um but basically how it went was we were all strapped in and everything and once we got to the altitude where a few of the solo jumpers were jumping um, They were right in front of me and I was gonna be the first tandem to jump out of the plane uh, me and my instructor and so they let the solo uh, jumpers go first so they opened up the door and then the solo jumpers jumped and then the second solo jumper jumped and then they shut the door. We went up a little bit more in altitude. We ended up jumping from, I believe it was 15,000 feet. And they opened up the door and basically there was no last chance to back out. Uh, you got up to the door on the very end. There was like this little bar across the top that you could kind of hold on to before you just like tripped out or slipped. Um, <laughs> but there was a bar and so basically what they told me to do is that I would slouch all the way down like get on my toes you'll see this in a couple of the photos when we were mimicking it on the ground in the building but we had to get down we had to scrap we had to crouch down and we would go forward ready go back set and jump go and it wasn't necessarily like a jump we weren't jumping out of the plane we were just kind of like rolling out and then once we started rolling out he said that we had to put our chest out 
bend our body back as far as we can keep our legs together and stick your feet up behind you as far as you can as if you're trying to touch your feet to your head so like you're bending backwards like a banana is what he described it as now as far as the free fall it was hard for me to breathe. I had a hard time kind of adjusting to the breathing. And I said this earlier in this vlog, but I had a hard time with the breathing aspect of it. Now, don't let that at all scare you guys away from actually doing this because literally free fall was about 45 to 50 seconds. If you can hold your breath for 45 to 50 seconds, the breathing is not gonna be an issue at all whatsoever because you have so much adrenaline going through your body and you feel the need to gasp for air. But like I said, if you've ever stuck your head out of the car window going like X amount of miles an hour down the highway or freeway, it's, it's hard to breathe. It's hard to get oxygen. And they had said, the instructors had said that if you needed to get air, you could turn your head and breathe in through your teeth. And I tried doing that like on the way down, I tried so hard, but I couldn't. I just felt like I was gasping for air, but I couldn't gasp and it was so weird. But about halfway through free fall, I got the sense of like just breathing through my nose. I don't know why it was so weird and so hard for me to adjust to, but like breathing through your nose is like the best way to get the oxygen when you're falling. I don't, I don't know, it was just so weird. Like it was so hard for me to like process that because of probably all the adrenaline rush and everything on the way down. Anyway, so then I was able to kind of just like pose for the camera and do whatever because we had, shout out to Dave, Dave you're awesome, um, <laughs> we had a jumper or the, I think they call them flyers where they jump out right before you do and then they're kind of parallel with you as you're falling so that they can kind of like do the still shots and the video and everything while you're falling during the free fall and all that stuff. So that was really cool. Um, and Vaughn got the hand cam video. So he got kind of the GoPro like up in his face and all of that when he was falling. And then right after free fall was when he had to pull the parachute. So he tapped my shoulders. So I knew to put my arms back on my harness so they weren't just flailing around and gonna get ripped off when we suddenly jolted to a kind of a stop because when you pull the parachute, it's kind of like a jolt. So he tapped my shoulders, I pulled my arms back into my harness, I was holding tight, and he pulled the, he motioned the photographer to kind of like go away a little bit, you know, give some distance, and he, uh, he pulled the chute, and my legs like went phew, up into the air, like they swung up and then they swung back, but it wasn't like a hard jolt at all. It was very just like, natural feeling it didn't feel restricting or painful or anything they had said that the harness will get a lot tighter once you pull the chute because you'll feel a little bit more of a tension and tighten up with the you know breeze from the wind catching the chute and all of that stuff so um, I actually didn't feel that much tension if anything I liked that the harness was tighter because I felt more secure and more safe um, so that wasn't a problem and then it was really really cool I would say gliding down with the parachute was my favorite thing because once we dropped and I could actually hear Him talking because you can't talk when you're free falling. It's like impossible to talk and You can't hear anybody because you're dropping so fast and all of that. So by the time we actually dropped kind of um to pull the chute and everything I could kind of hear what he was saying but along with me not being able to breathe that much my left ear had like popped and I could hear absolutely nothing out of that ear nothing at all and at first it scared me I was like I cannot get my ear to pop because you know like when you have swimmers ear or you go underwater you know it's like it feels like your ears just clogged and you cannot hear anything out of it that's basically what it was kind of like and then like when you go on a plane and you have your ear pop because of pressure change and altitude and all that stuff um that's what had happened and I told him he's like so how do you feel I was like I feel great except it was really hard to breathe and I can't hear anything out of my left ear and he's just like force yourself to yawn, which, hello, duh, I remember that. I used to do that all the time when I'd go on planes and stuff, was just force myself to yawn. And I did that and it instantly popped and felt a thousand times better. Later on that evening, I had a little bit of an earache, but it was nothing to be alarmed about. I didn't have to go to the doctor. It's gone now. It was just a little like, whew, that just happened type thing, you know, and it was just kind of getting readjusted to 
earth, <laughs> you know? Anyway, so once we had the shoot pulled and he asked me if I was okay, he asked me if I was feeling nauseous at all. I said, absolutely not. I feel great right now. And he's like, okay, cool. And so he started doing some turns. So like he had his little handles right here for the parachute and that's how he kind of steered us. And so he would go like this and we just like do a little circle and then he would and do it the other way and it was really cool and we probably had like four to five minutes or so of gliding time which was really really cool it was like my favorite thing ever because I love flying in a plane but when you're just gliding there even if you're strapped to a person or not they're behind you so you can't see them so you're just like looking down and you're just like oh my gosh I'm not attached to anything right now like it literally feels like you are in control of you flying and it feels like there is nothing attached to you and you are just free and it feels so cool like it was so magical and so amazing for me flying is one of the most amazing things and I just love it so much so 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 much so to be able to experience that was really really cool I was originally most excited about the free fall but once I experienced just the gliding oh I just I want to do it again and again and I know I'd probably love hang gliding because it's pretty much like the same thing except without the dramatic free fall and stuff but it's so cool. I absolutely loved it. And as far as the landing goes, the landing was absolutely so smooth. He just said, feet up, feet up, feet up, feet up. And I had to put my feet up as high as I possibly could. And we just dropped right on our booties. And piece of cake. It was like the easiest, softest thing ever. Even when the plane originally took off, it was like such a soft, smooth takeoff. It was beautiful weather. It wasn't super windy or anything and not rainy, sunny, beautiful. It was a little chilly, but by the time that we had our adrenaline pumping and we were ready to go, 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 um, I feel like if it would have been any warmer, we would have gotten too hot and sweaty. But the fact that it was a little bit more chilly kind of helped aid with us being a little bit overheated from excitement and adrenaline and all that. So that was really cool. The weather played out perfectly. Um, they said in the email to expect to be at the location for up to four hours due to delays, weather change, all of that stuff. But I would say we were up in the air in less than an hour and we were out of there in like an hour and a half, if that probably. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything else that I have to say. The experience, 10 out of 10, I will probably more than likely do it again. It was very, very cool. And now that I know what to expect, it's way, way, way less intimidating. Once you've actually done something and you know like how bad or how good it is or like how not bad it is compared to what you expected, um, it makes you kind of want to do it again. It's really, it's really, really cool. Like we got down, we were done and like I said earlier in the vlog, Vaughn had said that he feels like he can accomplish anything in life now because it's just like once you do something that crazy, it's just like, whoa, like, why am I scared to, you know, go to the grocery store and talk to people and be social when I just jumped out of an airplane? Like, it's, it, you just, it's such a confidence booster and you just feel so great afterwards. I'm not so sure about bungee jumping. I don't think I could do bungee jumping because I'm not so sure about the up and down, up and down. But I'm fine with just the falling and the gliding and cool stuff like that. But yeah. It was definitely awesome. Definitely experience I will never, ever, ever forget. Definitely an experience I want to relive. And yeah, I, I'm i stoked that I got to do that. And I want to thank you guys for following me on this journey. Thank you to my mama for getting me this gift for my birthday. And thank you to my friend Vaughn for coming with me and sharing the experience and the journey. And it was really, really, really cool. And I'm so happy and blessed to have these people in my life to share these really fun adventures with and everything. So, um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little trip. Stay tuned for my tattoo video to see what tattoo I got um, the day after we did our dive. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. And stay tuned for more vlogs. And with that, I will talk to you all next time. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Bye.